Hi everyone, I hope you're all enjoying your day. Today I'm going to be giving you another outdoor spring decorating video. Today we will be transforming this outdoor space into a beautiful oasis. I'm gonna show you how to give your patio a complete makeover that will make it the perfect place to relax and unwind. So let's go ahead and get right into today's video. This is what my patio looked like before I got started on this project and it was not a very fun space to kind of hang out and relax in. Granted, the weather hasn't been perfect for it either, but now that it's starting to warm up, I really wanna get this space to a really relaxing, enjoyable place to kind of sit back and maybe have my coffee in the morning or whatever, but I really wanted to clean this up and move stuff around and just maybe bring in a few new things, but I really wanted to brighten up this area and I wanted to share it all with you guys, maybe give you guys some ideas, some inspiration, take things that are old and freshen them up and make them look all new again. So that is what I'm going to do. You always wanna start with cleaning everything up. If you watched one of my other videos of patio decorating and cleaning, you really wanna just move all the furniture out of the way, get it nice and clean before you put it back. So instead of sharing me dragging the furniture all the way onto the grass, I just snapped my fingers and it's over here. So that's the miracle of filming. But I'm gonna bring all my patio furniture over here to the grass and give it a really good clean. There is like spider webs and dust and all kinds of stuff on this patio set. I honestly haven't used it since the summertime and it really got neglected during the winter. So I'm just gonna give it a really good clean and nothing fancy. I'm not even going to use soap and a scrub brush, which you can do, but using my hose with the um, handle here it has that um, spray so it really does the job so I'm just gonna get everything cleaned and once I hose down the wicker part I'm going to take my cushions and just hose those down really well and then set those out in the Sun to dry Cleaning and decluttering is the first step to any patio makeover. I know it's not the fun part, but trust me, you will feel so much better with a clean space to work in. So I'm just decluttering over here. I have some old pots and some little furniture pieces that are just old or ripped up that just need to be thrown away. And I wish so much I could plant something really pretty back here, but we don't have a drip system hooked up. so. I'm not gonna do that, but maybe eventually. So like I said, I'm just cleaning up and decluttering and then I'm gonna take my blower and blow away all the debris that's left over here. And then I'm gonna take my hose with that attachment and really give it a good clean. And I'm gonna try to get this rug as clean as I possibly can. If any of you guys have any really good cleaning tips for cleaning outdoor rugs, please feel free to comment down below and let me know. I know that I'm gonna be cleaning this again soon, so I would love to hear your ideas on how to get an outdoor rug clean. So 
So with this sectional that I have, you can take the pieces and move them around. So I wanted a subtle change. So I just rearranged them a little bit differently when I put them back. And then I added back that coffee table and that outdoor little lamp there. And then here it is before with it all dusty and dirty. And I'm gonna show you the after. It just looks like such a big difference. It looks like brand new furniture. And all I did was just hose it off. Some of the parts of the cushions are still a little damp, but for the most part, they're dry. When you're creating an outdoor oasis, you're really gonna wanna define your space. So make sure that you are thinking about what you wanna use your patio for and create different zones for each activity. For example, you can use a little dining area to create that type of a feeling or a lounging area and a reading nook. Use outdoor rugs and plants and furniture to define each zone and create that cohesive look. When thinking about doing a patio makeover, you most definitely do not want to forget about your lawn. So I want to take a second and introduce you to a product that I have been using and it is called Sunday. If you don't know what Sunday is, it is a new way of caring for your little plot of land from lawn to garden and everything in between. Sunday is very easy to find, which I love because it is available at Walmart, Lowe's and Target so you can shop however is most convenient for you. What I love most about Sunday is it is better for people, pets and the planet. And I have a dog and a cat that both love to walk around on the grass, so that definitely makes me super happy. I love using the Sunday Lawn Kickstart to just give my grass that extra boost of nutrients just as the weather starts to warm up. Click the link in my description box and get yours today. Give your lawn that extra bit of love with Sunday. Now that I have my sectional underneath my gazebo all nice and clean and that area all fixed up and my lounge chairs all cleaned off, I just have this little area over here to do, which is by my fire pit. But I recently purchased a new hammock. I've always had a hammock off to the side of my pool and that one didn't last very long. It kind of started ripping up from the hot sun out here in Vegas. So I ended up buying a new one. I already had the base from my previous hammock, so it made things a lot easier. I am just so happy I have a hammock in my backyard again. It's so nice to just sit back here and relax in my hammock and maybe read a book or just hang out by the pool. A hammock is definitely a must for your backyard oasis and I will leave this linked in my description box. If you can put a fire pit in your backyard I highly recommend it. I love this little part of my backyard. It is so cozy. I love sitting around the fire pit Roasting marshmallows during the summer is definitely memories that I just love going back to in my mind with my kids, but definitely you are going to want a fire pit. If you can put one in your backyard, I highly recommend. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did with my wicker furniture under the gazebo. I'm just going to hose this off and get rid of all that dirt and stuff. I did take my blower and try to get rid of most of that. I'm not going to take this over to my lawn because I just treated it, but I am going to get this nice and clean with the hose and then I'm just going to clean off those cushions. I didn't have to hose those off because for the most part I did keep those clean. While you are up in space, I sit here by myself.
whenever I do like a refresh of a room or patio makeover, I love adding something different or switching things around. And I found these pillow covers. They are actually outdoor pillow covers and I found them on Amazon. I also found some outdoor pillow inserts and I will leave both of these listed in my description box. Links to those will all be there. And I loved that I mixed two different patterns and I normally don't do that. I'm normal neutral and then maybe I'll throw in a tiny pattern here and there. But I mixed these two patterns and I love the way they look. This white and blue floral pattern is some fabric that I found and I actually used a tablecloth to make those. So if you watched one of my previous backyard makeovers, you will see how I did that but I love the two together. I think they look pretty and I love that little pop of blue. It matches with the sofa that I have under the gazebo and it just gives a beautiful refresh and this space looks so cozy and inviting. So now I'm just going to refresh what I have in these pots. The flowers are dead and they just need a refresh. So I found some really pretty potted flowers when I was at Walmart and I'm just going to put them in these urns that I have over by my fire pit and then I'm going to add some garden hooks and attach some outdoor solar lights and they look so pretty. I really wanted to share what they looked like at night because they're just so gorgeous and this is a photo from a couple years back but they just make this backyard look so pretty. Time started to get away from me so this is the next day and this day in particular it was a little cold and I wasn't really that eager to get out here and do all kinds of fun stuff but I did have this idea to add a little bit of faux flowers and I am really not one to add a bunch of faux stuff in my backyard. I do add some of it in my front yard because I don't get out there that much and stuff dies and I hate it when I kill plants so that is why I do that. But today I'm going to add a little bit of color back here to just freshen things up and when it gets a little bit warmer I'm going to start adding more um, fresh flowers and some really pretty potted plants that just make look everything really inviting back here. So I went through my bins and my spring and summer florals and I found some greenery and some tulips and some pink flowers so I'm just adding a little bit of that to my pots back here and if you live in an area where it's still kind of too cold to add those fresh flowers this is also a really good alternative to do i know a lot of people don't like it but it freshens things up and it makes things a little bit brighter and if you got to do that then do it so i found some greenery i added it to this hanging planter that i have on the side of my house and it really does look pretty and it really does add a little bit of life back here and then i just added more of that greenery to this planter box with these tulips and then i'm going to add a wreath to my back door and some of those really pretty pink flowers to the pots that i have on each side of my doors and like i said when the weather warms up just a little bit more which will probably be in about a week or two i'm going to freshen this area up and add some real flowers maybe add in something new over here i don't know maybe that could be another video maybe i'll just add that into one of my videos somehow but i'm going to have this a temporary situation here but i love it and it really brings a lot of life like i said you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money every time you refresh something you can take something that you already have and just move it to a different area of your house. I love shopping my house when it comes to decorating because I decorate so often. I really have to do that because 
I do not like spending money every time I want to switch things up. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys all enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to decorate your backyard, get things going for the spring and summer season and all that fun stuff. I cannot wait for the weather to be in the 80s. That is the perfect temp for me. But for now, I am loving how this backyard looks. And I just want to say thank you to everybody that has watched today and give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy today's video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a beautiful day. Bye.